single contact. Barry. Good afternoon, it's Rockin' Robbins on the S-42. Single contact. Barry. Two. Two. Nine. Long range. We're here in the balmy Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. Safety. Luxury. Girls on shore. This is great. We love it. Let's go up on deck. Oh, man. It's supposed to be sunny up here. This is California. What's going on here? Yeah, we're going to do this thing anyway. We got this movie to take. We messed up the movie about ten times. And this is the official John P. Cromwell targeting instructional video. We're going to do it right this time, I think. I don't know, this rain's miserable stuff. I hate this rain. Let's do this thing. First thing to do in a John P. Cromwell attack is the same thing you do in any old attack. You have to find the enemy, you have to figure out what course and speed he's running. So let's do that. We're running radar. We can't see anything. We can't see beans. He can't see us. He's out there someplace. I know from the uh, radar guy. He's usually right. Yeah, there he is on radar. Take a little look, see. Nice little target. Comes out on radar on gray. You notice he runs and jumps. Every time the radar sweeps, he jumps. That's going to mess up our timing a little bit. We're using the stock game, so we have silhouettes. It's just easier to see than it is on Trigger Maru. We're trying to teach people. We are going to do things exactly the way we would with Trigger Maru. We can see his course here. We couldn't see that with Trigger Maru. It would be a dot. What we're going to do is we're going to time our plotting our X for right after he jumps. So let's wait for the jump. Click start. Three minutes. The number of hundred yards he runs in three minutes is his speed in knots. If he goes 600 yards, his speed is 6 knots. That'll be our first information that we will enter into the DDC. He's at least 7,000 yards out. What you see right here is the 3,000 yard meter bearing plotter. That's a mile and a half. You can see he's more than double that. So he's seven to 8,000 yards out there. We got time for a setup here, don't we? John P. Cromwell attack works from an approach from 45 degrees ahead of the target. The idea is to send the the fish, the torpedo, up the 45 degree bearing line. If you're off by a degree or so, it doesn't really matter that much. But uh, that's what you want to do is you want a 45 degree angle impact with your target. Early in the war, this is important. 90 degree impacts resulted in duds. Also, with a 45 degree attack from ahead, if you miss, you've got time for another attack. Unless you got a little S boat, like I have. The S stands for something, and it isn't nice. But that's what we got. We're not complaining. We're going to do the attack the best we can. We got these Mark 10 little shorty torpedoes that go slow. That's why we're in the rain. I tried doing this thing in clear weather and the guy kept seeing it and avoiding 36 knot torpedoes just too slow. He got out of the way every time. A little rain out of help, don't you think? Coming up on two minutes. Just like all my tutorials, I'm going to do this at normal time. No time compression that I can't uh, possibly avoid, and I'm pretty sure I can do this whole thing with no time compression. Reason is I want you to know the pacing of the attack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. He does not know what he's doing. He just pretends. Cut that. Okay. Two minutes and thirty seconds. We can already kind of see his course there, can't we? We're gonna zoom in right there so we can get a good place. We select the pencil. It's 
bad news to make the click when you don't have the pencil in your hand. Ten, nine, eight, etc. Three, two, one, jump. Close enough. There we go. There is a little bit of uncertainty there. Now we take our take our um, dividers here. Click on the bottom, drag it to the top, and we're going to get the number of 100 yards he ran. What did we say? The number of 100 yards you run in the three minutes is your speed. This turkey, 12 knots. Let's go to the TDC. We'll pull out the input portion. Oh, that was bad. Station identification. Pull out the input portion of the TDC, and we'll click the speed button and dial in 12 knots. There he is. Close the button. Click. Verify it on the readout part. 12 knots. We've got it. Back to our attack map. Now what we have here is we have a way to plot his course. Use the ruler. Click on the bottom one. the bottom one. Okay. Stretch it out here, right up at the top of the boat. And we see his course is about 27 degrees. Click it right there. Now what did we say? John P. Cromwell technique. We're going to approach 45 degrees. How do we determine 45 degrees? The protractor. Click. Click on his course right about here. Click up here somewhere and then back toward the boat. Now we want to make a 45 degree angle, and the easiest way to do that is grab the angle and elongate that line until it says 45. There we go, and now we have a line right beside the boat. Let's make an extreme left hand turn to parallel with that line. Coming around. We're a little ways away from the track. We're going to accelerate here and get closer. I want to shoot about yeah, as close as we can see through all this muck. It's lousy weather to be doing a training video in. But lousy weather is heavy for submarines. We love it. Especially with this S boat. You know, S stands for something and it's smelly and not very nice. And every submariner has spent time in an S boat thought about that a lot. This sucker's old, rusty. Nothing works right. Torpedoes don't go straight. Well, that's not modeled here. We're in a stock game. If this was real fleet boat, we'd be in hell. Coming around! Flip our... Oops. Wrong tilt. around until he's put it in line. Yes, Slow down the rotation a little bit. Now we have a 6,000 yard center line here. If we can't make this parallel, we have bigger problems. Sailor. Yes, sir. 
The other way. Up that right, the other right. Third time lucky. Okay, folks. Take a look where this guy is. We're staying on the surface because he can't possibly see us. Let's take a look for this guy. Where is he? About well, bearing 330. 332, somewhere around there. Let's go to the, go to the TDC here. TBT, and we'll look at him at bearing 330. Oh, there he is, right there. Yes, sir. See him plain as day. I don't see snot. My old eyes. Yeah, I don't think so. Looks pretty crummy. Charge that line till you see something, guys. In the meantime, he's not gonna see us. We're staying on the surface. Wanna be cool to execute execute a daytime surface attack? Do I dare? Why not? Let's set up this attack now with the TDC, but by vector analysis. Let's say we've got a, a course out here. This guy is going to follow along this course, which is roughly set up. What is he going to let's then we'll draw a three minute diagram. Three minutes, he's going 12 knots, he's going to travel 1200 yards. So, go ahead and draw the 1200 yards there, right? Now, the periscope, or the torpedo, we want to come up with a 45 degree line. We're going to draw a 45 degree angle with our probe. We're going to click up here, click right on where that intersection is going to be, and then come out here at 45 degrees. There's our torpedo. Our torpedo is a 36 knot torpedo, so he's gonna come up here. He's gonna end up right where that boat ends up, right? And he's gonna go 3,600 yards. Now let's get this straight. This is a three minute diagram. Three minutes, the torpedo runs 3,600 yards and ends up right here. The boat starts here. And runs 100 yards and ends up right here. So, what do you think this line right here is? Ends where the boat starts. Right there. That is the line of sight our periscope along. To pull the trigger when the boat is here and the torpedo meets the boat there. All we need is the angle. Measure the angle with our protractor. Click up to the intersection there. Out here, click. What's our angle? 11 degrees. Pretty neat, huh? Alright, let's set this thing up in the TDC. In the TDC, we're going to aim up. TBT instead. We're going to aim up our 351 degree angle pretty close, right up in there somewhere. But that's where we're going to aim our, tele our periscope. Let's tell it that. Go to our bearing. Water. Bearing input. input. We're going to just drag our triangle down the input range for about 1400 yards. Tell it that's our bearing. Click it twice. Now the angle on the bow. Our angle on the bow is very easy to compute with the John P. Cromwell method. It's 45 degrees minus your distance from the zero bearing. Our distance is 11 degrees. 45 minus 11 is 34 degrees, and we'll be looking at the starboard side of the target, so it's 34 degrees starboard, right there. Should be messed but I don't know anyway. That's the kind of guy I am. Okay, there we go. Look at twice. We're ready to go.
The attack's set up right now. Now let's confirm it. I'll show you how the attack map can be used to confirm this thing. Here we are on the attack map. We're pointed with our periscope up the 50 degree line. Where's the torpedo going? Look at that. Right up to zero. Darn close to within a degree. That's pretty good. Back to the attack. Now we could shoot by radar. We could shoot when he gets to the 350 mark here. If we wanted to. We're not going to do that. Let's slow down. I want a good long shot. See what we can see. He's on bearing 335. Can we see him? Oh yeah, no problem. There he is. Holy cow. It's going to be difficult. Yes, sir. Let's speed up again. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to cut this range down a bit. All right. Back to the 50 mark. Set the bearing again just to be absolutely exact. We'll leave it right there. to check your check your center line. Make sure it's lined up with the 45 degree angle. It's too easy to hit the, uh, the keys to turn this thing. If you turn your boat, you're going to miss. Uh, we're plenty close. Yes, Throttle back down again. I'd rather be, rather be further away, to tell you the truth. Sleeping at the switch. Let's look at this baby. surface attack. I would love to pull off a surface attack. Oh, this is so good. A daylight surface attack. This is great. This is history in the making. That's too close. Back it up. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. No, let's not. Back down. Wow. That's terribly difficult to see. Let's open some tubes. Q, W, Q, W, Q, W, Q, W. All four tubes are open. Mileage may vary. Okay, we're still backing up, guys. This is pretty funny, a surface attack. I hope he doesn't see us. This would be bad to go all this distance and be seen. Okay, guys. 
ready to go. I just sent the bearing one time just to make sure we're deadly accurate. Finger in the W key to switch tubes. Fire with the mouse. We're ready to go. Fire. Fire into one. Fire. Fire into two. Stack. Torpedo in the water. Fire into the fort. Torpedo in the water. It's exterior camera time. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. There's more booms than torpedoes. I don't know how I'm going to see anything here. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I got lucky. Oh! how they're hitting right where we aim. Oh, the spotlights are on. I wonder how much good that will be. Delay. That's what a tanker is supposed to look like, folks. Ah, <laughs> we didn't even get the last two impacts. Oh, and there you go. John P. Cromwell technique. Works good. You just saw a successful daytime surface attack that's pretty good i've never done that before rock and robin signing off that's a keeper of a movie i'll tell you <laughs>